subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications hi friends welcome back to best way to study you students like you uh, especially mset students has been requesting me to make a video on 30 days preparation timetable like a preparation schedule for mset okay so here we are first let's see what is the uh, study schedule like 30 days sh uh, study schedule for mpc students this applies for both ap as well as a uh, tes mset okay and after this let's see what is the 30 days study schedule for by pc students okay so now let's begin this video without any delay okay so first of all coming to the m coming to the mpc students uh day one this is the timing and uh, here is the schedule like what you need to uh, do at that particular time okay it comes under schedule okay coming to the day one wake up at morning 6 a.m like this should be your uh like study start time okay so 6 a.m to 7 a.m you have to uh pr practice the problems of algebra because morning um, you will feel fresh and uh, you can uh, go ahead with your mathematics and uh, also keep reading all your formulae because uh, early in the morning whatever you study you will remember it for long time and you will also learn it in the shorter period okay so day one morning 6 a.m to 7 a.m start with your algebra and after one hour of your study from 7 to 8 a.m uh, just fresh up uh, and have your breakfast and from 8 to 10 again continue with your algebra like practice the problems uh, from 10 to 11 take a short break from 11 to 1 um, study the concept of the physical world okay under physics there is a concept there is a chapter called physical world from 11 to 1 uh, study this concept physical world and from 1 to 2 you can take a lunch break and from 2 to 4 resume back to your studies and uh, start your preparation uh, like atomic structure from chemistry and from 4 to hello learners you all will be preparing for mhd cet this year in order to get into your dream college i have got an exciting news for you an academy which is the strongest test preparation category company in india has also newly started the mhd cet category to help you in your mhd cet preparation some of the great features that you can find here are full length mock test recorded classes crash courses and many more there will be tests every sunday starting from 20th march to help you in your preparation you will also get a detailed analysis of your performance in these tests in this course you are also you can watch the recorded classes at any time with your at your convenience and if you have any doubt you can also refer back to the recorded classes multiple times the courses are structured well to give you the confidence and boost your preparation apart from this you are also going to get the benefits like a regular special classes on tips and strategies in order to crack mhd cet from top educators there is also an early bird discount until 20th march 2022 you can also get the additional 10 percent discount by using the code radha10 5 uh, you can take 1 hour of a break and from 5 to 7 you can again start preparing uh, with your physical world and uh, from 7 to 8 you can again take a short break and from 8 to 9 whatever you studied since morning just revise it thoroughly okay so what is the advantage of revision in the at the end of the day is whatever you study you can memorize them uh, as soon as you revise okay so revision is very very important so coming to the day two uh, from morning 6 a.m to 7 a.m again do with your algebra from 7 to 8 as usual break from 8 to 10 again go with your algebra from 10 to 11 take break from 11 to 1 
units and measurements do this chapter okay from 1 to 2 as usual break from 2 to 4 go with atomic structure from 4 to 5 take a break from 5 to 7 again uh, study the concept and the questions like bits of uh, units and measurements and from 7 to 8 go with your break and from 8 to 9 revise the things which you have already studied the entire day okay so coming to the day 3 uh, from 6 to 7 again algebra from 8 to 10 algebra uh, I'm not repeating the break timing students okay so I'm not repeating this break uh, timings like 7 to 8 of course it's break every day so I'm not repeating it from 11 to 1 uh, like start the concept of uh, motion in a straight line it's very very important concept and uh, from 2 to 4 uh, go with your classification of elements and periodicity in properties okay so if you want uh, to um, you know to just have a screenshot you can pause the video and take a quick screenshot no issues and uh, from 4 to 5 again break from 5 to 7 again or uh, uh, revise your like study uh, the concept of motion in a straight line from 8 to 9 again you have to revise okay this is the day 3 schedule and coming to the day 3 day 4 from, uh, from 6 to 7 algebra uh, algebra is very very important students so first five days you have to uh, thoroughly prepare with your algebra okay it's really important and uh, from 8 to 10 again algebra because why I, why I have allocated three hours for mathematics that too in the morning schedule is that's that's the best time to prepare with your mathematics okay so from uh, 11 to 1 motion in a plane from 2 to 4 chemical bonding and molecular structure from 5 to 7 motion in a plane from 8 to 9 revision okay so coming to the day 5 algebra from 6 to 7 and 8 to 10 and uh, from 11 to 1 you have to go with uh, loss of motion and uh, even 5 to 7 loss of motion and in between 2 to 4 you have to study a uh, chemical bonding and molecular structure okay so coming to the day 6 from day 6 to day 10 uh, you have the schedule of trigonometry okay from morning 6 to 7 go with trigonometry from 8 to 10 again trigonometry trigonometry is very very important okay so from uh, 11 to 1 go with your work energy and power and uh, repeat the same in between 5 to 7 also and from uh, 2 to 4 go with your states of matter gases and liquids and last but not least from 8 to 9 have your thorough revision okay so coming to the day 7 uh, morning 7 to 9 and uh, morning 8 to 10 you will do the problems of trigonometry and from 11 to 1 system of particles and rotational motion and uh, from 2 to 4 stoichiometry and from 5 to 7 system system of particles and rotational motion and coming to the day 8 uh, you will again repeat with the trigonometry and coming to physics uh, from 11 to 1 you'll go with the oscillations and uh, from 2 to 4 third more dynamics from uh, chemistry and uh, from 5 to 7 again oscillations and coming to the day 9 uh, gravitation from physics and uh, thermodynamics from the chemistry and this is the schedule you can take a quick screenshot okay so next day 10 coming to day 10 uh, trigonometry okay 
and this is like day 10 is the last day for your trigonometry so also make sure you revise all the formulae because formula is very very important coming to mathematics and from 11 to 1 go with your mechanical property of solids and from 2 to 4 go with your chemical equilibrium and acid basis okay this uh, take a quick screenshot it's for your day 10 okay so coming to the day 11 you will start preparing a uh, vector algebra and uh, coming to 11 to 1 you will start preparing mechanical properties of fluids and coming to 2 to 4 you'll go with the hydrogen and its compounds and from 5 to 7 you'll go with mechanical properties of fluids and last but not least you'll have your revision quick revision from 8 to 9 o'clock from uh, day 12 like in the uh, on day 12 um, you will have a practice from the vector algebra and coming to physics from 11 to 1 you'll go with thermal properties of matter and uh, from 2 to 4 you'll go with s block s block p block f block these are very very important okay from here 4 to uh, 2 to 4 you'll go with s block ele elements and from 5 to 7 you'll go with thermal properties of matter and this is a quick revision from 8 to 9 o'clock okay this is day 12 schedule and now coming to the day 13 Coming to the day 13, uh, you will go through uh, thermodynamics from physics from 11 to 1, S block elements from 2 to 4 and again thermodynamics from 5 to 7. Time for a quick screenshot. Okay, so coming to the day 14, uh, you will again go with the vector algebra and uh, coming to the physics from 11 to 1 you'll go with the uh, kinetic theory and uh, p blocks from p, uh, p block elements from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock okay coming to the day 15 this is the last day for your uh, vector algebra so make sure you thoroughly prepare with your uh, formulae and uh, coming to 11 to 1 you'll go with the waves and uh, prepare very well uh, because a few bits a few important bits will be asked from the waves also and from 2 to 4 you'll be preparing the questions from p block elements okay coming to the day 16 schedule you will start with your probability probability is of course one of the most uh, easiest concept and chapter from mathematics and uh, after this from 11 to 1 you'll go with the array optics and optical instruments you'll repeat the same from 5 to 7 and in between from 2 to 4 you will go with the environmental chemistry so coming to the day 17 you will go with the probability again and uh, wave optics from 11 to 1 and wave optics from 5 to 7 and 2 to 4 you will be studying environmental chemistry okay so coming to day 18 uh, you will be covering electrical charges and fields uh, coming to the physics and coming to the chemistry organic chemistry is one of the most important chapter coming to chemistry so you'll be covering it from 2 to 4 on day 18 and coming to 19 uh, you'll be covering electrostatic potential and cap capacitance from 11 to 1 and organic chemistry from 2 to 4 okay so coming to day 20 you will be covering uh, current electricity from physics and organic chemistry from from your chemistry and probability today is the last day for probability and uh, on day 21 you'll be starting a pair of straight lines it is also important concept and uh, from 11 to 1 you will be studying uh, moving charges and magnetism 
and from 2 to 4 you will be studying solid state ok so uh, time for a quick screenshot and coming to the day 22 you will again start your day with your pair of uh, straight lines and uh, from 11 to 1 you will go with the magnetism and matter and from 2 to 4 you will be studying solutions and from 5 to 7 you will be again going with the magnetism and matter and there is a quick revision from 8 pm to 9 pm ok so coming to the day 23 schedule from 6 am to 7 am again you will go with the pair of straight lines and uh, from 8 to 10 again pair of straight lines from 11 to 1 electromagnetic induction which you will be repeating from 5 to 7 also and from uh, 2 to 4 you will be uh, covering the topic of electrochemistry and chemical kinetics okay so coming to the day 24 schedule you will be covering alternating current from physics and surface chemistry from chemistry okay I hope that's clear so coming to the day 25 uh, you will be covering calculus okay you are starting calculus okay day 24 is the end of a pair of straight lines revision you will be starting calculus from day 25 and uh, coming to the day 25 uh, 6 to 7 calculus 8 to 10 calculus 11 to 1 is electromagnetic waves which you will be repeating even from 5 to 7 and coming to 2 to 4, D and F blocks are very, very important students. And coming to the day 26, you will be covering calculus from mathematics, uh, dual nature of radiation and matter from physics and D and F blocks from chemistry. Quick screenshot. Okay. So, coming to the day 27 schedule, you will be covering calculus from mathematics, atoms and uh, from physics and biomolecules from your chemistry. Okay. So, coming to day 28, calculus from mathematics, nuclei from physics, halolines and halcones from the chemistry. Coming to day 28, calculus like this is the last day for your calculus. So, revise thoroughly and uh, semiconductor electronics from your physics and organic compounds from your chemistry. And coming to the last day of your schedule, from morning 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., whatever topics you are feeling weak or whatever topics you wanted to study again you can revise them here and uh, from 8 to 10 again revision time from 11 to 1 go with your communication systems from 2 to 4 organic compounds from 5 to 7 communication systems again last but not least end of the day 8 to 9 will be your revision time so yeah this is the perfect schedule uh, for 30 day MSET preparation for MPC students for both AP and TS. This is like one of the best schedule I can share with you. Okay. I'm not going to drop a PDF. Like if you want PDF uh, separately, please do mail me. My mail address is going to be in the comment section below because if I drop uh, this PDF in the description box, it will be misused and it will be uh you know also used it may be also used by other youtubers so i don't want that to happen so if you want it specially please do uh let me know in the comment section below uh by giving your email address so that i'll be sharing with you uh personally through your email address and this is specially for mpc students and by pc schedule is going to come up uh in the video so stay tuned to watch this video till the end now we are going to start with the by pc schedule okay so coming to the by pc schedule so here is the by pc schedule okay 
okay so coming to the by pc schedule day 1 you will be starting your day from 6 to 7 and uh, you will be uh, studying diversity in living world from botany and from 7 to 8 you'll have a, a quick fresh up and your uh, and you'll have your breakfast and uh, resume back to your studies from 7 uh, from 8 o'clock from 8 to 10 you'll be studying diversity of living world from zoology okay so till now you have studied botany now it will be the turn of zoology okay after this you will be taking a quick break from 10 to 11 from 11 to 1 you'll be uh, studying physical world and then from 1 to 2 you'll be having lunch break from 2 to 4 you will have atomic structure uh, preparation and uh, from 4 to 5 you'll be having a quick break again from 5 to 7 you will be studying physical world and uh, from 7 to 8 uh, you will be having a quick break again from 8 to 9 whatever you've studied the entire day that you are going to devise in this particular time okay from 8 pm to 9 pm okay this is your day one schedule have a quick screenshot like whenever you wanted to take a quick screenshot just pause the video and you can take a screenshot and now coming to the day two again you will uh, you will start studying diversity in the world of both uh, botany in in the morning like uh, 6 to 7 and from 8 to 10 zoology diversity of living world and from 11 to 1 units and measurements from 2 to 4 atomic structure from 5 to 7 units and measurements and from 8 to 9 you'll have a quick revision day 3 coming to the day 3 you will be uh, covering the structural organization in plants from 7 to 6 to 7 am and from morning 8 am to 10 am you will be covering the concept of structural organization in animals and from 11 to 1 motion in a straight line from 2 to 4 classification of elements and periodicity in properties from 5 to 7 motion in a straight line and from 8 to 9 is a quick revision time and from uh, and on day 4 uh, 6 to 7 a structural organization in plants 8 to 10 structural organization in animals 11 to 1 motion in a plane 2 to 4 chemical bonding and molecular structure which is most important one of the most important topic and from 5 to 7 motion in a plane and coming to day 5 uh, 6 to 7 reproduction in plants 8 to 10 animal diversity 11 to 1 loss of motion and same from 5 to 7 also loss of motion and uh, coming to 2 to 4 you will be covering chemical bonding and molecular structure and coming to the day 6 you will be covering reproduction in plants from morning 6 am to 7 am animal diversity in a, uh, from 8 to 10 from 11 to 1 work energy and power 2 to 4 you will be covering status of states of matter uh, gases and liquids which is also one of the most important topic and from again 5 to 7 you'll be covering work energy and power and uh, coming to day 7 plant systematics from 6 a.m to 7 a.m animal diversity from 10 a.m to sorry uh, 8 a.m to 10 a.m system of particles and rotational motion from 11 to 1 and uh, from 2 to 4 you will be covering stoichiometry from 5 to 7 you will be covering system of particles and rotational motion coming to the day 8 you will be covering uh, plant systematics animal diversity oscillations and thermodynamics if you want to take a screenshot you can also go back and uh, or pause the video and take it no issues 
and coming to day 9 you will be covering cell structure and function locomotion and reproduction in protozoa gravitation and thermodynamics okay this is the timing and these are the topics which are need to be covered in that particular time okay so coming to the day 10 cell structure and function locomotion and reproduction in protozoa mechanical properties of solids chemistry equilibrium sorry chemical e equilibrium and ke acid bases from chemistry mechanical properties of solids from physics coming to day 11 internal organization of plants biology and human welfare mechanical property of fluids and hydrogen and its compounds coming to day 12 you will be covering internal organization of plants biology and human welfare thermal properties of matter and s block elements s block elements like all these block elements like s p f are very very important students um, give a, spe a special attention to all of these concepts and coming to day 13 schedule plant ecology type study of periplanta americana thermodynamics s block elements and coming to day 14 schedule plant ecology type study of periplanta americana kinetic theory and p p block elements from chemistry coming to day 15th schedule plant physiology ecology and environment waves p block elements you will be covering these on day 15th coming to day 16th plant physiology ecology and environment ray optics and optical instruments sorry my bad spelling mistake <laughs> okay uh, environmental chemistry ray optics and optical uh, instruments like these are the topics which are going to cover on day 16th coming to day 17th genetics from 6 to 7 human anatomy and physiology from 8 to 10 wave optics from 11 to 1 which will you which you will be repeating even from 5 to 7 in the evening and from 2 to 4 you will be covering environmental chemistry okay so coming to day 18 genetics human anatomy and physiology electrical cha electric charges and fields organic chemistry and these you will be covering on day 18 coming to day 19 molecular biology human anatomy and physiology electrostatic potential and capacitance organic chemistry will be the schedule of your day 19 coming to the day 20 molecular biology human anatomy and physiology current electricity organic chemistry will be the schedule of your day 20 coming to day 21 biotechnology human anatomy and physiology moving charges and magnetism last but not least solid state from your chemistry coming to day 22 schedule biotechnology human anatomy and physiology see students human anatomy i have repeated more than three days this should understand the like uh, with the help of this you should understand the importance of this concept okay magnetism and matter solutions will be the schedule of day 22 coming to day 23 microbes and human welfare human anatomy and physiology electromagnetic induction electrochemistry and chemical kinetics coming to day 24 microbes and human welfare again human anatomy and physiology alternating current surface chemistry 
coming to day 25 human reproduction very very important topic electromagnetic waves b and f block is the schedule for your day 25 for by pc students so coming to the day 26 genetics dual nature of radiation and matter d and f block okay so coming to day 27 applied biology biomolecules and atoms coming to day 28 you can revise whatever topics you want like if you are feeling you need a bit more time for any particular topic you can use this particular time for your revision okay and on day 28 you'll be covering nuclei halolines and halcolines this is the schedule for day 28 so coming to day 29 you'll be covering up the topics of semiconductor electronics and organic compounds from chemistry okay so coming to the last day of your revision you will be covering communication systems and organic compounds okay so yeah this is the perfect schedule for the students of mz both ap and ts and thank you so much for watching this video till the end don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss a video from best way to study and also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends okay the more likes the more videos from uh, best way to study regarding mz okay so that's why like 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 the video and share with all your friends and classmates so yeah that's that's it for today uh thanks for watching see you in my next video